Okay, so let's dive into the TiVo Stream 4K, which runs Android TV. Now it's on Android 9 currently. So this interface, especially me coming from the uh, Chromecast with Google TV does look kind of dated at this point, but it's a very simple to use interface. Just to walk through it real quick, you the top row is all of your apps on your home screen. If you wanna see more apps or add more apps, to this, you just hit this plus sign and you can add an app that's not already, not already on your uh, home screen. So maybe I wanna add YouTube TV. If I wanna move an app, I just press and hold the select button on the remote and I can choose move and then just press to the right or left on the remote uh, itself and then select again when I'm done. And also to go to apps, I can click this on the left here to go to all my apps as well. These are all the apps that I have installed on this uh, TiVo device. And then you also can get more apps, get more games on here as well. And then below that, this is gonna be showing apps that you have installed and it's like recommendations basically on here for you to watch stuff that they think you might be interested in or you know goes along with what you've watched before. And if you wanna remove one of these, for instance, I have Showtime here, if I wanna remove this, I just press to the left and I can move it up or down if I wanna make it higher in the totem pole or lower, or if I wanna completely remove it, just press to the left again, you'll see this uh, minus sign, hit select on the remote, and it will remove that so you don't see that anymore. But uh, yeah, kind of an easy to use interface right there. In the top left, you have your uh, microphone where you can just talk and ask it questions or bring up the keyboard to type and search for something, or you have your time in the top right, you also have settings. When I go into settings, you can go in here and change all kinds of settings that you want to your updates, uh, add remotes or accessories, look at your apps, sign into different accounts, all that stuff is right there. So everything seems to run pretty well on here, like the apps I've been using. It's pretty fast, I, it, it doesn't feel like the fastest, but it, it just overall usage, it's been pretty good. I haven't noticed any lag at all with anything on here. My son uses this account, so if you see a lot of kid stuff, that's why. But I'll bring up my page right here, and you can uh, you know, speak into the remote to search for stuff within this app. But we'll play a video real quick just to see how quickly it loads up. What is going on, guys? Welcome All right, so that loaded up. Let me mute this real quick so we don't have to hear me. So I muted that up. If I want to make sure this is playing in 4K, I'll go to more and you can see it's already playing in 4K or at least hopefully you can see that. Everything's responsive, like just, you know, going through the, the app itself, through going through the app and using the remote, you know, I don't have any slowdown or anything like that again, which is, which is good because sometimes you get worried with these, these boxes, especially on the Android side, sometimes they can be laggy. Um, not so much. This is pretty smooth overall. And you can see it go, it's just sliding through this 4K really, really quickly. Obviously some of that depends on your internet. If you have slow internet, it might not you know, uh, speed up as well as mine is right now, but generally uh, everything's working pretty well on here. This one's taking a little bit longer. <laughs> just when I said it was pretty fast, <laughs> my internet. But you can see it looks good, you know, pro no problems with that kind of stuff. And then the app selection overall, it's gonna have any app that you could want. It's got the Google Play Store in here. So, you know, Netflix, YouTube TV, Sling, Prime Video, YouTube, uh, Hulu, Disney Plus, HBO Max, Spotify, Twitch. I mean, there's, and you can go into the Google Play Store as well to check, to check for more apps. They get Peacock, which is NBC's new streaming platform. They should have all the apps that you want. They don't have Apple TV, and I don't know if they'll ever get it, but um, that's probably one of the only ones currently that it doesn't have. You can see a little bit of stutter. It's not super smooth, like when you go down. You can see it, I don't know, it feels a little bit jagged, just a tiny bit. And that could be Android's fault more than it is this actual hardware device. But again, app selection is gonna be amazing. Um, I, I don't play games on here, but there are games that you can play with your remote and you know, real simple stuff if you want, like this little Fox game. And you can watch a little video to see how it's gonna look on here if you do play it. And this is very reminiscent of what you get with uh, any uh, Google device or Android device that plays. Oh, Nexus device, that's really old. But there you go, you can play this game, for instance, on your remote if you wanna kill some time while uh, playing on here and then there's all kinds of other apps to go through if you want download is a good app if you want to sideload apps like an IPTV service or some other app like Kodi or something that's maybe potentially not in um, 
the Google Play Store, so you're able to, you are able to sideload apps on here as well. And you can even, as you can see, you can uh, use NVIDIA Force, NVIDIA GE Force Now, and you're able to stream high-end PC games to this device as well. So you have all that stuff built into here uh, to be able to take advantage of that. I would say the one thing that I'm not totally in love with, and I'm gonna turn my remote, I mean, the light on, is I don't love this remote. There's just too many buttons on here. You do have a dedicated Netflix button, you press it, it opens up Netflix. You also have a dedicated TiVo button, which when you press it, it opens up their little service here, which is like live TV and it's free. But the thing is, is that there's not really, I mean, this is kind of like basically like Pluto if TV, if you've seen that before, it's basically the same thing. The only difference here is that it integrates other apps that you have installed in here to find things that you might want to watch. So for instance, if I want to watch, um, uh, this you're seeing showing Netflix shows, feel good, good romance. Maybe I want to watch last man standing. If I click on that, it's going to show me other uh, apps that I have installed that I can play it on or buy it from. But for me, I mean, that's kind of already built into the new Google operating system. And I, I don't know. It, it, I guess that's great for this, but ultimately it's, um, I, I probably wouldn't take advantage of this dedicated TiVo app on here, but I mean, it can be handy. So, you know, for the most part, if you're looking to find new content to watch and you don't want to go through every single app to find it, it kind of integrates all that stuff. So I guess, I guess it's a good thing. I just can't see myself always coming in here to ultimately use it. To go back to the remote, again, there's so many buttons. The back button, it isn't a, a, generally it's in a, a good spot. It's right there. But then like the home button's all the way down here. Google Assistant button, when you wanna use it, you press it. What's the presidential election? So you can ask it questions. There probably wasn't a good question to ask, but. Oh, it's they're saying he's leading. Okay, so we can see who's leading with the election. But um, with I know, for instance, with the new Google Chromecast, the new Chromecast with Google TV, you press and hold the button and talk and then let go. This one's a little bit different. You press it, talk, don't talk for a second, and then it will search for what you're uh, for what you're doing. And then other than that, you have a like guide on here, which brings up that you know TiVo button stuff that I was showing you earlier. You can control your TV and receiver with this, so I like that. I'm able to turn off my TV. I'm able to uh, control the volume as well uh, of my TV. So all that's really cool. I love all of that stuff. I can press the, uh, you know, all those buttons here. It's just like the, the, the remote, I feel, is like, this kind of oldish school remote from back in the day in a way, and it's being used on a modern device. I mean, maybe people love it. I don't personally love it. I want something, and it, it, it's, com it's comfortable to hold, but again, it's just, there's something about it that it just feels like I'm watching TV rather than like one of these streaming boxes. So I like giving something like this to my mom, I feel like she'd be a little bit more confused on this versus like uh, the one that Google offers, which is, simplified has a few buttons on there but who knows maybe you want more buttons and want to do more stuff on it but overall i mean it's only 49 bucks you can buy it on amazon and pretty much anywhere else so i think for 50 bucks it's it's a good value you can watch uh stuff in 4k they have you know anything that you would want to watch you know and, and they have all these different uh apps on here that take advantage of you being able to watch pretty much any content that you want from live TV to on-demand stuff like HBO Max or uh, Netflix. You have the ability to uh, watch all of that stuff. So, that, I mean, that's good. It's a, definitely a, uh, a very good thing to be able to have that opportunity to easily watch that type of content. But at the same time, I mean, is this, is this better than... He, 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 Audrey, Let me stop that for a second. Very close friend. So is this better, is the TiVo 4K better than the Google Chromecast with Google TV? I, I don't know. I, I'd probably say no, to be honest with you. I'd probably still go with this one. This has newer software. It's more updated. Um, you're still on, at least at the time I make this video, I'm still on Android 9 on the TiVo 4K. If you're curious how much uh, storage you get. So it looks like... Um, Total space is about 
we'll probably get about eight gigs on here. So I got a four point, looks like 4.5 gigs taken up on this. So I probably have another three and a half uh, gigs left free. So I guess the way to break it down is if you get this, would you be disappointed or happy? I think you'd be happy generally. I don't think you'd definitely, I don't think you'd be disappointed in this at all. It's gonna give you everything that you want. And at the same time, uh, is it the best device? I'd probably, I probably wouldn't say it's the best, but uh, everything that I tried on here worked uh, relatively well. It, it definitely needs an update um, to hopefully they get the Google's newest software on here, but generally it works really, really well. So if you wanna pick it up, it's linked down below. Thanks for watching. See you guys down the road.